listening to the Video Game and Nerd Trivia Podcast with Tony D. Tony D. Video Game and Nerd Trivia Podcast. Your episodic dose of trivia covering all things video games and nerdy. Now, here's your host, Tony D. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Video Game and Nerd Trivia Podcast. On today's episode, our main topic is going to be Street Fighter 2, and we'll be going over 30 questions split into 10 questions each for 3 rounds. As with every episode, I'm going to give you the question, 5 seconds of silence, and then tell you the answer. Let's begin. Round 1, question 1. What company is responsible for what we know as Street Fighter? This is Capcom. Question 2. The main protagonist of Street Fighter 2 was a Shodokan character from Japan. What was his name? His name is Ryu or Ryu. Question 3. How many characters were in the original Street Fighter 2 that you could play as? There were eight world warriors. Question four. What was the name of the only female character of Street Fighter II, the original release? That is Chun-Li. Question five. What is the green colored monster-like character that was from Brazil? That is Blanca. Question 6. What version was the first version of Street Fighter 2 that allowed you to play as the boss characters? That was Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition. Question 7. In the US, the main Shadaloo boss was named M. Bison. What was his name in Japan? That would be Vega. Question 8. What year was Street Fighter 2 released in the arcades? That would be 1991. Question 9. What was the original name of the first Street Fighter 2 game? I'm looking for the full title. That was Street Fighter 2, The World Warrior. And question 10. Who starred in the Street Fighter movie that was based on the Street Fighter 2 game in the mid-1990s? The main star was Jean-Claude Van Damme and he played Guile. Alright, that's the end of round one. Hopefully those were a little bit easier and you got some of those. Let's head into round two, which is a little bit more difficult. Question one. In Japan, M. Bison was meant for the boxing character. What was the name short for? So in Japan, M. Bison was actually Mike Bison. Question 2. What was the name of the arcade system that ran the original Street Fighter 2 games? This was CPS or the CP system. Question 3. Which version of Street Fighter 2 introduced characters like Kami, T-Hawk, Fei Long, and DJ? This was Super Street Fighter 2, The New Challengers. Question 4. What was the name of the Asian protagonist character that was introduced in Street Fighter, the movie, the game, that was not in the original Street Fighter 2 games? So 
so this was the original character named Sawada. Question 5. Why were the names of the boss characters switched around in the US version? So Capcom was afraid of a lawsuit regarding the boxer being named Mike Bison, you know, Mike Tyson. So they switched the names around for M. Bison, Vega, and Balrog. So Balrog in the US is actually M. Bison in Japan because Mike Bison. Uh, Vega in the US was actually Balrog in Japan. And then M. Bison in the US was actually Vega in Japan. Question six, which version of Street Fighter II introduced Akuma. This would be Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Question 7. What was the name of the version of Street Fighter 2 released on the Nintendo Switch in 2017 celebrating the 30th anniversary? This was Ultra Street Fighter 2 The Final Challengers. Question 8. A remastered version of a version of Street Fighter 2 was released on the PlayStation Store and the Xbox Live Arcade download services in 2008. What was the name of this version? This was Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix. What a mouthful of these names. In question 9, which gaming magazine produced an elaborate April Fool's joke that fooled the world into thinking Sheng Long is a hidden character? So this was EGM and I actually remember this magazine uh, and this April Fool's joke. It was kind of ridiculous because, you know, back in the days without internet or without the widespread use of internet, everyone just read these magazines and just held them as like the truth of everything. And this April Fool's joke really did fool a lot of people. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Shen Long, the, the reason why people thought that there would be a character to begin with before this April Fool's joke was there was a poor translation of Ryu's windscreen, which was, you must defeat Shen Long to stand a chance which is supposed to be you must defeat my dragon punch to stand a chance but they translated as Shen Long so then many people thought it was a secret character and then EGM took advantage of that and then made it an April Fool's joke that it was a secret character you had to unlock. Anyway moving on to question 10. Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo introduced meters that can be powered up for special attacks. What were the special attacks called? These were super combos. All right, so that was round two. Uh, let's go to the final round, round three. Question one, who was the producer of the original Street Fighter II? That's Yoshiki Okamoto. Question two, in the 30th anniversary Nintendo Switch edition, Ultra Street Fighter 2 The Final Challengers, I said that earlier, there was a mode that allowed you to play Street Fighter in a first person view, shooting Adukins using the motion controls. What was this called? This was Way of the Ado. Question 3. Shenlong, we're going back to this, eventually made his way into the series as an official secret character you can battle in the single player mode. Which Street Fighter game incorporated this version of Shenlong into its single player mode as a secret unlock? So that is actually Street Fighter 6 which was released in 2023. I've been playing a lot of this game in the world tour mode, I think it was called. That's where you can create your own character and go through an open world map of Metro City and fight random people. There are a few things that you need to do in sequence uh, in, in order to 
have the ability to challenge Shenlong. And he actually looks like what he looked like in the EGM article. Pretty cool. Question 4. How many floppy disks did Street Fighter 2 take on the DOS version of the game? It took three floppy disks. It's crazy. Just thinking back about those floppy disk days. Question 5. A version of Street Fighter 2 was released on CD-ROM as part of a Street Fighter Collection 2 package on Sony PlayStation. What year was this collection released? That would be 1998. So question 6, in the same year, Capcom Generation 5 was another collection package, but this one was released exclusively in Japan, and this also included a version of Street Fighter 2. What system was this for? This was the other CD-ROM console, this was the Sega Saturn. Question 7. What was the name of the rare Street Fighter 2 spin-off game that's a whack-a-mole arcade game where the moles are M. Bison and on the screen it's Ryu vs. Chun-Li. This was super rare and I haven't actually seen it before in the US because it was only released in Japan. Uh, this is Ken Semagura Street Fighter 2 released in 1994 in Japan arcades. Nowadays, you can kind of see collectors have them, but it's really, really difficult to find. Question 8. In 2001, there was yet another version of this game, Street Fighter 2, released on the Game Boy Advance. What was the name of this version on the Game Boy Advance? This was Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo Revival. These names always crack me up how crazy long they get. Question 9. It was planned to have Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix also have a remade intro that was similar to the original Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo intro, but with updated artwork and graphics. This was already made by an art studio and publisher, but it didn't make the final cut for the game. Which art studio created this alternate intro? This was Udon Entertainment. If you know Udon, they do a lot of Street Fighter artwork. They sell a lot of Street Fighter artwork books as well. They usually have a booth at any of those conventions like Comic-Con, WonderCon, you name it and there's a lot of collectibles from them as well. So they actually produced an alternate intro that was basically a an HD updated intro of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo for the HD remix, but for whatever reason, it got cut. All right, and the final question. What was the name of the Japan only FMV simulation game released for the PlayStation and the Sega Saturn in 1995, where it was based on the Street Fighter 2 animated film. This was simply called Street Fighter 2 Movie, and movie is in all caps. And over at E3 in 1995, they actually called it Street Fighter 2, the interactive movie. And that was the only time they used that name because I guess it was planned to release in places outside of Japan, but it never did. All right, so that's the end of the episode. I had fun again writing this episode. This is one of the episodes that I initially wanted to start off the podcast with, but I wanted to wait on it because I didn't want this podcast to sound like, oh, it's just going to be the super common games that are fighting games and stuff. So. I held off on Street Fighter 2 until now. I am holding off on Mortal Kombat for a few more episodes, but that will come as well. And you can count on future episodes of Street Fighter 3, Street Fighter Alpha, any of those, any other Street Fighter series as well. 
Again, thank you so much for listening. And if you like this podcast, please rate us on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. It really helps get the word out. And again, you can reach us in any of our social media handles and suggest topics, and I'll try to get to them in future episodes. But until next time, trivia on. Trivia on.